Southern Gothic is a podcast that explores the history behind the American South's darkest days, greatest mysteries, and most chilling ghost stories. But today, we aren't hitting the history books. We're going to go down to the campfire for our annual Halloween tradition of 13 spooky tales over the course of 13 nights. All right, y'all, so today I decided to take a quick break from the creepier side of Halloween and instead get a bit weird around this campfire here. So I've got a little piece of folklore from down in Florida that involves a strange roadside attraction in Lake Wales, which is located just south of Orlando. This city is known for its citrus groves, its charming downtown, and an iconic singing tower that, y'all, is just a whole other story. But out on 5th Street, right past the elementary school, there's a spot on the road underneath that classic Florida mix of palm trees and Spanish moss-covered oaks, where it just seems that nature doesn't quite work the same as it does everywhere else. It's a place that they call Spook Hill. For over 70 years, tourists have made their way down the back roads of Lake Wales to attempt to experience something truly unique. As it's said that if you stop your car on the white line in the middle of the road at the bottom of the so-called Spook Hill, then put your car in neutral, your vehicle will defy gravity and begin to roll uphill. This phenomenon is something seen in various spots all over the world a type of location known as a gravity hill or a magnetic hill. But according to local lore in Lake Wales, Florida, the origin of Spook Hill, a longtime roadside attraction, is paranormal in nature. According to a pamphlet titled The Mystery of Spook Hill that was published by a local restaurant back in the 50s, the spot was first discovered by an old man who parked his car at the foot of the hill on his way to go fishing. Well, after he got out of his car and started heading down to the lake, he glanced back to discover that his automobile was not only moving on its own without the motor running, but also it was going uphill. Obviously, he was surprised by the sight, and the pamphlet claims that he cried out in response, Dem spooks, before he fainted where he stood. So, ever since, the spot's been known as Spook Hill. And people have come from all over to do exactly what that old fisherman did. Park their car, put it in neutral, and roll uphill. In fact, Spook Hill became such a popular attraction that it's since landed on the National Register of Historic Places. But of course, the question is, why exactly does this happen? Depending on who you ask, there's two possible reasons. But the pamphlet claims it has to do with a couple of pirates from back in the 16th century. The story goes that one day, after a long career as a swashbuckler, Captain Sarsaparilla retired to the Lake Wales area to finish out his life doing what he actually loved, whale fishing. And he did so accompanied by his devoted aide, Teniente Vanilla. Eventually, though, Vanilla died for reasons unknown. So the captain buried his trusted mate at the bottom of what is known today as Spook Hill. Now, this alone wasn't what caused the current weird happenings here. Rather, it was the day that that old fisherman pulled up his car here to go fishing. A car which he just so happened to park in the exact spot where that trusted aid was buried. This apparently caused great pain for the old pirate, so his ghost called out to his old captain from the grave and begged for help. In response, the spirit of Sarsaparilla rose from the depths of Lake Wales where he had been laid to rest and pushed that old car up the hill off the chest of his mate. Them spooks, right? It's said that to this day, he continues to do exactly this every time someone decides to come to Spook Hill and park over the grave of his mate. Of course, y'all, 
obviously this story isn't really rooted in good history, right? This is just a story after all, and as a result, another piece of local lore has popped up to explain it as well. One that is actually now printed on a sign just south of the infamous spot on 5th Street. A sign that features the image of a friendly ghost. According to this legend, a Native American tribe who lived in the area was having problems with a giant alligator. So they sent their brave chief out to fight off the monster. Unfortunately, he didn't survive the bout, and so the tribe buried him on the north side of what is now Spook Hill. It's said that years and years later, pioneers discovered the effects of this burial when they were pulling goods up the old trail and found that their horses struggled to move forward even though they appeared to be going downhill. So which one is it? Is the warrior chief and the alligator continuing their battle in the afterlife? Is an old pirate captain protecting the grave of his first mate? Or maybe this old Florida mystery is just an optical illusion. Well, y'all, I hate to ruin it for you, but in reality, it is very likely the latter. As I mentioned, Spook Hill is what folks call a gravity hill, a type of location that can be found all over the world. These sites are often steeped in folklore, and why wouldn't they be? But in reality, they're nothing more than a trick on human perception, because they all have an obstructed view of the horizon, so it's difficult for a person to judge the slope in front of them. Now, I know that's not what y'all want to hear, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't consider checking out Spook Hill if you're ever down there in Lake Wales, Florida. Because not only is there an arch that has been erected over the infamous spot, but there's also that sign with the friendly ghost that instructs you very clearly on what exactly you should do while you're there. It says, quote, Stop car on white line, place in neutral, and let it roll back. Southern Gothic is an independent podcast produced by siblings Brianne and Brandon Schecksneider. And this mini-episode was part of our annual Campfire Stories, a series to get you in the spirit for Halloween. We'll be back with an all-new, full-length episode on October 31st. So y'all stick around if you dare. <laughs>